You can't eat that stuff. It's rotten. Do you hear? Yeah, what do you think we are, dogs? We had the same garbage yesterday. We want to eat up, not throw up. All right. Hey, Mom! You lazy son of a bitch. You'd better rustle something fresh up and make it quick. Here. Go! You make one move and I'll break it, you bastard. Do you hear me? Around here, I'm the boss. Kill the lousy bastard. Uh, I get busy with that food. Okay. You made a mistake. Now me, how to use the pistol on him? I just might. Listen to me. When I was fighting with him, he tried to pull his gun. Now, would you believe that? Hmm? You keep a watch on that guy. Don't worry, boss. I will. I'm sure he's up to something. And I want to know just what the hell it is. You just let me know when you need me, boss. Go give the boy some hot coffee and some good food. Right, boss. Well, how do you feel, Colonel? Terrible. How'd I get here? You had a fever. A high one. You know, it almost killed you. That'd be a fine way for a southern colonel to go, wouldn't it? Mind if I have a little drink of water? Okay. You're going to be all right. We ought to be at Forson's place this time tomorrow, Todd. Tomorrow? But I thought we'd be on the trail at least another four or five days. Hell, you were unconscious for four and a half days. <laughs> we're in Texas. If anybody knew what we were carrying in this wagon, our lives wouldn't be worth a plug nickel. That's true. And if I don't make it, all the gold will become yours. You're not that sick a man, Todd. I must be. Supposing I don't live through this. I only want you to promise me to get Forsens. Swear it on my death. All right, I do. I know what it means to you. My sister. The only person in the world who meant anything to... I'll get even. I'll have my revenge when I own that ranch. They'll know I'm somebody then. Yeah, that's right. Especially since you made me a partner. My payment for saving my life, don't forget. How long's it been since you were back in Texas? A long time. Why do you want to buy Ambler's ranch? For well, what Bart Ambler did. He fooled my sister into providing him with a power of attorney over all our holdings. My sister signed the document, and then he murdered her. It was the last days before the Confederacy ended. And when the South finally quit fighting, then Bart Ambler fled. And I was able to get all our land back. Uh, you know the rest. Yeah, I know. You sold everything and moved out here to get Bart Ambler's ranch back. But I can't help you there. Anyway, it won't be too easy to take Bart Ambler's ranch away from him, Colonel. Why won't it be easy to buy the ranch? It's owned by somebody else. Now that he knows the railroad's going through there, he'll be trying to get it back. I'm going to beat him to it. I'm going to go have a look at the men. Oh. Watch out for Block.
damn wagon I ever drove. It's only the Colonel, me, and a few sacks. One of us is packing too much weight. My arm feels kind of funny. Slept on it. You want to be careful. Arms break, you know. Colonel Todd, how are you? I was listening when you were talking to Block. You think he suspects anything? Don't worry, we'll be all right. I'll fire him. I'm getting impatient. That's a valuable cargo, Mallory. Just a little further on. The Colonel won't have any trouble making his contract. You watch over the cattle, Sam. Todd and me got to talk to Carter alone. Then wait for me up there. We'll join you later. Ah! Todd with you? Uh, no, he's in the wagon. Uh, he'll be here in a minute. We're looking for a man, a Mr. Jefferson. He in there? Yep. And he's getting kind of impatient. Come on in. This ain't no bunkhouse. Get out of here. Why are you so interested, hmm? It ain't every day you sell a ranch like Forston's. That's Flock out there. Why, is he a friend of yours? No. He's no friend of mine. Last time I saw Block, he was hightailing out of town just as fast as hell. That's Jefferson. Seems preoccupied. Wouldn't you be if you were going to sell Forsens? From what I understand, Forsens doesn't belong to Ambler anymore. It belongs to Jefferson. Yeah, but when Ambler finds out... Are you Colonel Todd, sir? Yes. I'm Pat Jefferson. I'm right inside the deed. So am I, Mr. Jefferson. Good. Shall we go inside? Very well. Colonel, shall we sit down? Thank you.
What are you doing here, Miss Adler? Are you Colonel Todd? Uh, what can I do for you? A couple of months ago, a letter arrived at the house, Colonel. It was addressed to my brother, but since he was away, I took the liberty of reading it. It said Jefferson had made a deal with you for the purchase of Forsen. So Bart Ambler has a beautiful sister, I see. Almost too beautiful to believe, I might add. If you can take a little advice, don't buy the ranch, Colonel. Are you speaking for your brother? No, Bart doesn't know yet. But the one thing he wants in life is to get back to Forsen. He and I were born on that ranch. It's where we spent our childhood. Well, now, miss, that's very sad. But I'm afraid I've already signed all of the papers. But he left to go raise the money, and then before he has a chance to, Forsen is sold out. Mr. Jefferson is a little bit too impatient for his own good. When my brother finds out, he's going to be really angry. Bart's not the kind of man you fool around with. And if I were you, I wouldn't think of buying Forsen. Colonel, you listen to me. Before he comes back, I'd get right out of town. And just as far as I could go. No, no. I don't run. I've heard about your brother, and he doesn't scare me at all. I've been through the war, Miss Ambler, and I like a good fight. Oh, Miss. Hold on. Excuse me. Miss Ambler, isn't it? You don't think there'll be any trouble over the sale of the ranch, do you? Wait, and you'll find out when my brother comes back. Now, you tell your brother to think twice about taking any action. If he's prepared to hold on to his ranch, then he's got to be prepared to lose it. Hey, mister, take your hands off the lady, and from now on, you better keep them off. <laughs> There's nothing prettier than an angry woman, especially if she's kind of pretty when she's calm. <laughs> Stay at the wagon. I know, I know. I'm getting it repaired. Okay, but I don't want your services anymore. Go see David and get your pay. And it suits me if I never see you again. You hear, Block? You really have to leave right away, I suppose. Yes, I'm in a big hurry. Goodbye now, Colonel Todd. Well, you have a good trip back there. the idea Ambler knows him. You're absolutely right, mister. In fact, it was Bart Ambler who ran him out of town for making a pass at Cora. Well, then, I figure he's the one who sent the letter to Ambler about me. He must be the one. Exactly. Well, I'm going to get a little bit of sleep now. And, uh, watch Block. Bart Ambler is the only man I know of still alive after fighting that big galoot. Hmm. Big or small, we're all the same. Alive or dead. Hmm. Say, it's strange, you know. What? Well, they both signed contracts, but no money changed hands. So what? Well, it seems kind of funny to me to carry all that money around in a wagon. The colonel wanted it that way, and if I were you, I'd keep this to myself, understand? Seems pretty clear. Mister, I didn't get to be a healthy 50 years of age by shooting my mouth off. <laughs> you keep on like that, and you live to be 100. Give me another drink. Tell me, what kind of a man is this Bart Ambler? He's a rat. His powers, too. The only person Ambler respects is his sister, Cora. She's pretty nice, I guess. So is his brother, Jim. Is he dead? Uh-huh. 
The good die young, Mallory. It's always like that. I'm looking for Jack and the other two. Have you seen them? No, uh, try over at Carter's. Give me a whiskey. And a deck of cards. <clears throat> What's the matter, Colonel? You look tired. Too many problems for me to sleep now. who put his hands on Miss Cora. He left. And who's that? That's the man who just bought horses. Ah. I play little cards myself. Hey, Carter, get us some glasses. That way the colonel here can offer to buy us a couple of drinks. Sure, might be nice to play some poker. You rotten bastard. You were trying to cheat. Well, nobody cheats me, Colonel. Draw, old man. But I don't have a weapon. You ain't gonna shoot him, Jack, are you? That's murder. Nah, not if no one sees him murdered. But you wouldn't want to kill me. That'd be crazy. Sure. <laughs> How long has it been since you swept up this place? This morning, Jack. All right, Colonel, you're going to sweep up right now with your tongue. <laughs> I gave you orders to stay out of this place. Oh, I figured Bart would be happy to find... You're nothing but a beast. That's all you are. Well, ma'am, if you like, I'll take you home. I'll take care of myself. Now get out of here. Come on. job for you? I never told them to do this. The next
next time you want work like that done, you send your trained dogs to look for me, do you hear? You should thank God Colonel Todd hasn't been killed. If he'd been carrying a weapon, he'd be dead right now. And you better thank God. He isn't dead. Because I promise you, I'd see every one of you amblers hang, even if I have to do it myself. They're here to see me. You want some advice? I'm listening. Avoid it. It's three to one, and I won't be able to help. So if you want to fight them, you're on your own. I'm used to that. Jack's the one you're going to have to look out for. The one in the middle. The other two are just hard hands. He's about as fast as they've come, I'd say. I'll remember that. No. Don't fight. Do me a favor. Don't fight. So you're Jack, huh? Well, well. Good old Jack. Now let's see what kind of a man you really are. Take off your gun and tell your men to do the same. We'll settle this business right now. You talk big, mister. The same way you did with the colonel. I don't fight with my fists. Well, you fought my friend, didn't you? You're going to fight me now the same way. He wasn't wearing a gun. That's why he's still alive. You ain't going to be that lucky, Mallory. Jack, I gave you an order. Now you get out of here. I don't reckon I work for you. I'm working for your brother. All right, let's put him on the ground. Now. Now get the hell out of here and take him with you. You see that? It was probably the quickest gun in the whole state. And Mallard dropped him like a sack of potatoes. Hard to believe, ain't it? If you'd advised your friend, the Colonel, not to buy the ranch, all this killing could have been avoided. I think a man should buy or sell what he likes. You know, our family was really attached to that ranch. Don't be angry with Cora. She's an ambler. Yeah, but she hates bloodshed. I reckon she's seen too much of it. Well, she saw some today, Carter, didn't she? She didn't care for Jack. All for the best, then. The Colonel's too far gone to stay here. I want you to take him to the small ranch, because that way I can visit him more often. And I want you to do it right away. You hear that, Mallory? Doc, I hope you can come back. You know, it's going to be awful hard to get him off of this ranch. It's his house. Yes, I... Oh, but it's your house as well. You know, Folsom's a very big spread, and you don't have enough hard hands, and you've got too many enemies. Yeah. Goodbye now, sir. Right. Goodbye, Doc. Mallory, turn around. 
don't give a damn, now, do you? I just think you might be a little bit cracked. I'll get plenty of horses before I get through round here. You know I got a hold of the money for Forsens. You're a bit late. Jefferson's already sold the deed to Forsens while you were out of town. Jefferson. You sure about that? Why, sure, I'm sure. You must be new around here. Nobody ever gets in the way of Bart Ambler. Sure, honey. Who do you think you are? Bart Ambler. Wait a minute. Cowboy, I can kill you easy, but I won't. You want to know why? Bullets cost too much. Times are changing, Bart, I'm telling you. You're going to have to stop pushing people about. Just give me a whiskey. Where's Jefferson? Some other town. He left, huh? When he sold the ranch. He must have forgot that I promised to kill him if he ever sold forces. Now listen, Bart, you ought to be a little more careful about what you say around here. You're not allowed to shoot people in this town, and you know that. He's right, Bart. My pa got you elected, Sheriff. Remember, if it wasn't for him, you wouldn't be nothing but a busted-ass cowpoke, you know that? And I keep that in my thick head before I start throwing my weight around. I hope your stomach's in real good shape, Sheriff, huh? Because one of these days, you just might have to eat that badge. Yeah, and then I might not. I hear tell Black Stone's back in town. Ah, uh, well, I suppose I should go over and say hello to him. I've never seen a man beat up so bad. He had it coming to him. Only you can behave in such a brutal manner as that. I didn't want to wind up like the other three guys who tangled with him. One of them's dead and the other two are permanently injured. Yes, but you forgot to mention that he was tied and bound. And everyone knows about that other thing, when you hanged a man for no reason whatsoever. He made advances to my sister Cora. But he was drunk if he didn't know what he was doing. Maybe he should have stayed out of the saloon. If he did, it'd still be alive. around here again. I won't forget any of it. Yeah, don't you worry. I won't forget. Hey, Doc. Tell me, just what the hell is it you got against me now? There's gonna be a lot of blood shed around this here town, Bart, and you'll be responsible for it. I don't like it, that's all. You know, you're gonna stretch your luck a little bit too far one of these days. You don't frighten an old man who'd be better off dead anyway. But let me tell you one thing, Bart. You've been responsible for a lot of deaths in your day, but you don't have the makings in you to kill me. Why not? Because too many townspeople respect me, and if you murdered me, you'd hang. And I'd be happy if you were. Hey, Ranch. Somebody's bought it. Yeah, I know. And Jack, did you know he was killed? Who was it? A friend of that Colonel Todd who bought the ranch. Uh, so he has enough courage to shoot a man in the back. No. You're wrong. He outdrew him. No, that's impossible. Jack? No one was a faster gunman than Jack. Well, he was. Listen to me, Bart. Please, let's not have any more killing. Cora, I've been away a long time and I really missed you. I've missed you too, Bart, but please forget about the ranch. Listen to me just this once. Please listen. 
Why don't you go now? We'll talk later. Mr. Go on. Hopkins. Now look, Block. I sent you packing once. Do I have to do it a second time? I wasn't tacky. I heard someone was going to come up here and buy the ranch. So I wrote you a letter about it. That's the whole truth, Bart. If you don't believe me, you can go ahead and ask Cora. I know you came back to see Cora. I know where Jefferson is. He's in Mexico. No, not Mexico. I know where you can find him, Bart. That's if you're interested. That's good whiskey there, friends. It's been a real honor to come. Though if all my patients were as hospitable as you, I wouldn't get very much work done now, would I, Colonel? I hope you came as a friend as well as a doctor. Yes, I'm on my way to see a woman who's expecting a baby, and those little tacks don't wait, oh. you know. Well, I really must be on my way. I'll come back and see you later, Colonel. As I said, the baby won't wait. I'll be seeing you. Goodbye now. So long. Ah. Ah. Well, we've been here only a few days, and we've done all you wanted to. No, not all. <laughs> what else were you planning on doing? I have to get some rest. My chest is hurting me. I still feel a little bit weak. Okay. looking over my shoulder. Ain't gonna find it easy here. Take it easy on that water. It's going to have to last us for a while. We ought to catch sight of him right soon now. If you were telling me the truth. Take it easy, Bart. And stop riding me. draw you left-handed. So you just remember who the boss is around here and you'll stay healthy. Well, look who's here. Ain't it strange now who you meet around these here parts? What? What do you want? Get him down, Block. <laughs> Jefferson, I want what was mine. I warned you not to sell. No! No! Bart, no! Please! Stop! Search the wagon.
Never mind that. You won't find it there. Gold. It's ours. Glutton sacks book. We gotta wait a little while now. Get a better price for the cattle. Suits me. They're in good pasture now, but good men looking after it. You can be sure, boss. In the meantime, we'll take care of that other unfinished business. The amblers? Yeah, and I don't think it'll run as smooth as Todd thinks it will. Well, you know, the colonel can always ask the sheriff. <laughs> the sheriff? You really think that Bart Ambler's the kind of man to worry about the sheriff? Yep. <laughs> ha! 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 no more off you. From now on, we're partners. We're in it up to our necks, and don't you forget it. Listen to what I say. Nobody talks to me like that. I'll break you in half, you hear? You better start thinking about it real hard. Because if you don't, you're going to be dead in hell. As far as me and Cora is concerned, keep your nose out. You'll be safe here. You better be careful, though. Keep well hidden. I'll take the gold. Come on, let's move.
regard. We have some visitors. And I think this is the right time for you to patch it up. But who? Larry, who else? The friend of the colonel. The one who killed uh, Jack. Yes, but he owns 50% of the ranch. I don't want to see him. First he kills one of my best guns, then he moseys over for a nice friendly talk. It's not all that friendly. Somebody took a shot at the guy just the other day. Ah, what do I care? And what makes you think it's true anyway? Bart, where were you the last two days? Oh, I've been around. At least you should be willing to shake hands with Mallory. Haven't we got enough trouble already? All right, I'll do it. But I'm only doing it for you. Thanks. Texas. Just what does that mean? Oh, some people can get rich overnight. You want to get rid of it? I'm willing to give you what you paid for it. Oh, I don't think the Colonel would approve that. And as for me, I'll be damned if I'll send you my half. <sighs> Say now, how did you ever come up with enough cash to buy force and Using that pistol of yours? Forget it. There's no need to be angry. I want Forsens, and I'm going to get it. Mm. I'll have it, Mallory. I'm sure you know the way your luck can change. And if you're ever out of work, all you have to do is come and ask. I'm sure I can find you something big, small, something nice and dirty like you have, Brady. <coughs> You've got a big mouth. You open it once more, and I'll close it for good. kind of quiet here. What do we do now? I guess I better get into town and do some shopping, but 
The whole shebang's in my hands until the colonel recovers. He's still sick, huh? Mm-hmm. And I can't leave him alone too long. You go on. I'll look after the ranch. I mean, a friend's a friend, right, Mallory? Mm-hmm. What about the cattle? We should be rid of them in a few days. I found a buyer, but you'll have to come along. All right. I gotta go now. I'll be back soon. Tell me Jack who first. Hard to believe anyone's that fast. Well, I'll tell you one thing. As far as I'm concerned, I'd rather be his friend. I'll have it all ready for you this afternoon. You can bring it up any time you want to, Mr. Mallory. Tomorrow, my friend Sam Bonner will come and fetch As you wish. Pleasure to do business with you. So long. made a lot of money in a hurry. That's his business. Tell me, Mallory, when Colonel Todd bought the ranch, how did he pay Jefferson? Gold. Jefferson always said he didn't like banks. He kept his money with him. They tell me he's gone to Mexico, but he must have taken one hell of a long way. Why? He ain't been seen in any of the towns. Along the way, I'll tell you. Nobody's seen him. Probably changed his mind. Went someplace else. Yeah, yeah, he could have done that. I suppose he could have. One more question now. What kind of gold did he get? Do you know? Freshly minted gold coin. Ah, uh, that's it. You want to tell me what a half-breed is? Well, cross between a bastard and a big jackass. Ask him, he knows. Take it easy, amigo. He's unarmed. You asked for it. Mind if I come along with you? I don't think you should. Why not? 
No particular reason. I'm sorry. I'd rather you didn't. See you. Bye. to see me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried. You know, my sister... Uh, what happened to her? Any other time, I'd know what to do. But this time, uh, this one guy got fresh with her. Who was it? The guy you used to work for. Car Todd? Nah, not him. It's Mallory. That's it. Who told you that? Cora. Passed by a room the other night, and I heard some noise. She was crying. What about? Oh, you know what women are like. At first, she wouldn't tell me. But she finally said it. That Mallory was disrespectful. Why, the bastard, he's gonna pay for that. He sure is. I'll see to that. No. No. What do you mean, no? She's my sister. Yeah. But I'm going to take care of him. Mallory's mine. Maria, the hot water, por favor. Mm. Thank you, Maria. Would you hand me a towel? shoot it out with him. That depends on him. That depends on him now, Barney. Lockstone, I don't know what you're after. But remember this, you had a chance to kill me once, but that was the first and last time. If Ambler sent you, you just better go back and tell him that he's wasting his time. Yeah, that's what you think. Make one little move, I'll blow your legs out from under you. Have you ever seen an invalid blocked? Take a step, and you'll be one for the rest of your life. You made her cry, you dirty bastard. You rotten bastard. Who did I make cry? Yeah, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. A bastard like you would be dangerous even if he can't walk. So I won't cripple you. I'll just blow your head clean off.
Mallory! Howdy. Be very careful when you see that block stone. He believes that you made advances to me, and I'm afraid... I saw that a while ago. He wanted to fight with me. And then after that? Nothing. I just told him I didn't intend to be flattened by him, that's all. Then what people say about you is true. You're nothing but a hardened gunfighter who figures he can just do... Ma'am? There's one way to handle a big man like Block. All I want to do is live in peace, Mallory. And why shouldn't you? Believe me, nothing happened. Thank you for that. Miss Ambler? Please call me Cora. All right, Cora, then. You know, for years I've stayed... I've stayed the hell out of Texas. But I'm glad I'm back. Why? Because... Because... Because I met you. Please do me a favor. Don't kill my brother. Why, you? Did he ask you to do this? No, he... You know he asked you to do this. Now tell me the truth. No. Okay.
How do you feel now, son? Am I in one piece? Just now? barely. You're in my house, and you've been asleep now for two days and nights. Uh, no, no, no. You've been dead. Uh, You're going to have to rest now. There. How long? Uh, About four or five days, but I'm not sure then you'll be all right. And I'm not able to operate on your brain to keep you out of trouble with Blockstone. And what's more, I'm uh, telling you, you're very fortunate to be here. From now on, I use my gun. I'm fed up with getting me all busted to pieces. I've been a doctor for 30 years, and I'm getting tired of all this gunfighting and killing. Uh, uh, come in, Sheriff. Well, he's awake, huh? You all right? All broken up. Imagine you're pretty sore. But uh, old Block's in just about the same condition. Doesn't cheer me up a bit. Yeah, sure, sure. Anyway, I told Bart Ambler I didn't want to see Block's face around here. And I made it quite clear. If I do, I'll shoot him on sight. Well, excuse me, Doc, but a lot of the town folks would like to know how he is, so they asked me to ask it. Much better now. Well, that's good news. We were getting a little worried. In a few days, you'll feel all right. Well, thanks. Thank you for asking. Anne, I almost forgot to tell you, there's a lot of people who want me to wish you luck and hope you get better. And so do I. Be seeing you. There's many people anxious, uh, uh, anxious to see the half-breed get well. But not the one I'm interested in. You go on up. Come on in. Bart Ambler, you visit us so infrequently, I figure there must be some reason. Is that right? It has to do with Mallory. A half-breed that wears his hair in a pigtail? Bart, you haven't turned into a racist or something. His race has nothing to do with it. I hate the bastard because he took away the ranch. I know, I know very dear to you because you were born there and also because in a few years it'll be worth a fortune. That's touching, Bart. You know, I was hoping, Nero, about when I returned, I might be getting some news about Mallory's death. You were, huh? Doesn't look very dead, does he? <laughs> but I hear he's well now. And he's getting out of the docks tomorrow, alone. And he's going to the ranch, alone. Bart, you don't have to paint a picture. We've been friends quite a while. So I'll come right to the point. It wouldn't be the first time I helped out. And I have other reasons, because Block is one of my best men. But there's one small thing you're not telling me. I know, Nero, that I was the one who talked the guy into it. Just come to the point, will you? I don't want Mallory to reach that ranch at all. Well, listen, getting Mallory's not going to be too damn easy. I know. Why don't you do it yourself if you're so anxious for it? Because I told my sister Cora that I wouldn't kill him, that's why. So, <laughs> you know, when a man buys a horse next month, so what? Well, it's the same thing here, you know. Just takes more. What do you want? He'd pay a thousand apiece for my two guns. And the same for me. I'll pay it, but get it done. The money? As soon as you bring them in? You must know what a fast draw is. <laughs> From the back, you're faster. I might be, but Block thought so too. Tell Mallory showed him how. I'll pay you now. But you're asking a lot of money. Well, that's the way we operate. Morning, 
Colonel. Looks like the good news about Mallory has done wonders for you. It wouldn't be right to throw this rancher's responsibilities on just one man's shoulders. Yeah, and he's also got those hyenas of amblers to deal with. Uh, how things been, Sam? I mean, as far as the herd's concerned. Fine. They're all sold and the money's in the bank in San Francisco. Sam, you know this morning, when Mallory gets back, he's going to find me a brand new man. I feel a lot better, let me tell you. If I'm lucky, I'll outlive one ambler, that bastard Bart. He's not worth thinking about. He's too much of a rat. I'm gonna watch Bart Ambler fall. Downwind. Don't take any chances now. Wait till he's about 20 yards away. I'd sure like him to know we're doing this for Block. We are doing it for him, ain't we? Yeah, and a thousand dollars. We'll bury him there. It's impossible for us to miss. Yeah. Here it he comes. you an important message. Colonel! Hold it, you. What do we do with him? We ain't gonna kill him. That way he can tell everybody what he saw here. 
<laughs> Come on. Don't worry about it, Block. You'll be all right. I know this ain't the best hideout in the world, but I brought you some fine food and whiskey and two blankets. So you see, you'll be all right. Can't make it out. Can't make it out. <laughs> all right, Block, but I'm telling you just this once. You'll have to stay careful nobody finds you, because the sheriff told me he didn't want to see you ever again. And if he does, you're a dead man. So you stay here a few days. As soon as Mallory's taken care of, you can come back. And I'll have the ranch by then. Bart, I guess you're satisfied now. What about? I know you sick block onto Mallory. <laughs> that wasn't my fault. When they fought, I wasn't even in town. Yes, I know. You always know the right time to leave, don't you now? And it was a coincidence the sheriff knew right where to find Block and Mallory. Cora, are you really interested in this guy? Listen to me, Bart. The only thing that interests me is how terrible you've become since Paul died. Terrible, huh? Maybe, but in those days we were the bosses, of course. And you just can't forget that bit, can you? It's a question of prestige and honor. But Bart, you know Forson was sold to Jefferson, and after that Jefferson sold the ranch to Colonel Todd. Jefferson should never have done that. He waited till I was out of town, then sold the ranch right out from under us. I want to own Forson, and I will. Then I'm sorry, but I can't stay. Can't stay? Where will you go? I don't know. But I can't remain here. Cora, I forbid it. Oh, really? I won't be pushed around by you that way. Do you know what a brother is? I don't think so, Bart. Or you wouldn't act the way you do. I'll go where I want to. And I'll only come back here when you've changed into a human being. Doctor, how's Mallory? Don't worry about Mallory. He's made of iron, believe me. Just a flesh wound, nothing to really worry about. May I visit? Not now, Cora. He needs some rest now. Oh. Uh. There's Sam, Mallory's best friend. The one who was there when those two killers got Colonel Todd. What does that mean, Doctor? You don't think my brother would sink that low, do you? Whoever did it was a beast, that's certain. The Colonel was a very sick man and wouldn't have lived long anyway. Doctor, I want to go in now. You do love him, don't you? Yes, I do. 
And does your brother know about it? It's not important to me what he thinks. Well, I hope things turn out for the best. Oh, I'm sure they will. You might as well go see him. He's upstairs. Thanks. Laura. Cora. Is anything wrong? Well, I decided. To come here and live with me? As soon as I can. This was your ranch. It can be yours again. Only depends on you. My brother's unbearable, and the sheriff has discovered everything. I'm sorry about that, Cora. This is the end. Bart's more obstinate than ever. I know. Cora, I'm going back to the small ranch, all right? I'll join you. You sure you saw her? With these two eyes, she went to the Paulson Ranch. You sure of that? Wouldn't be here if it wasn't. Even my sister's against me now. <coughs> I'll finish this once and for all. All right, Ambler. Yeah. <laughs> 
Excuse me, Bart. Bart, I'm gonna... Bart, I killed Vito, and you never kept your word. <laughs> No, I won't. Well, come on in then. It was your ranch. It still is, if you want it. I'll help you forget. Oh. Well, I got patients that need looking after. Better be on the way. I'm right along with you, Doc. I, I... Let's get... Hey. Hey. 